In my previous video, we looked at five unknown clones that performed heroic deeds in the midst of heated battles. In this video, we will be doing the same, so strap in, grab a snack, and I'll let you decide which of these lists had the more heroic clones. The second battle of Genosis all round was a brilliantly fought battle by all the clones. Without the courage and spirit of these unknown clones, the battle would have most likely been lost. Pilots were instrumental in this battle and saved countless lives. Last video I highlighted the skill of some of the gunship pilots, however this point is highlighting the Y-Wing bombers that saved the 212th encampment from certain annihilation. As we can all see, Kenobi and his clones were holding on by an inch and were losing multitudes of men to the advancing Genotians. Kenobi is about to make his final stand until the saviors of the day bomb the advancing Genotians to the ground, in turn allowing the clones some much needed time to assist the wounded and recuperate. Another one from the Battle of Genosis, but don't worry, it'll be the last. This battle brought out the best in many clones as many of them were not used to facing foes that weren't programmed. They were fighting creatures with independent thought and although it was very daunting, most if not all of the clones present did their job and did it efficiently. This clip shows Anakin taking a squad of clones on a very dangerous attack run against dozens of Genosian gun embankments. Begin the attack. The clones in this attack run played a pivotal role in the long-awaited victory on Genosis. Their job was to jam the Genosian scanners so the Genosian anti-tank defenses were unable to target the tanks, therefore allowing the tanks to demolish the Genosian defenses, leading eventually to a hard-fought victory. Although this point isn't exactly what you'd class as heroic, these clones probably had some of the best teamwork I've ever seen in the Clone Wars. The Republic is involved in a heated battle and are trying to capture General Grievous before he pulls another cowardly escape. Many tanks are involved in the siege and many are as a result taken out by rocket launchers. Not Tank 2, however. Tank 2, port side! Great shot! As you saw in the clip, these two clone troopers had extremely fast reflexes. The first one dodging the projectile by an inch and then being able to warn his tank a friend. The tanker then has impeccable aim and shoots at the projectile, destroying it and thus leading him and his crew to survive. This scene just shows us how most clones had each other's backs no matter what the situation. In Season 3, Episode 2, we witness the siege on Kamino, where the Republic is nearly brought to its knees by the massive Separatist army. The clones fight with all they have and Anakin is tasked with tracking down Ventress in order to stop her from stealing vital clone DNA. Anakin eventually tracks her down and a fight ensues. Not long after, Ventress attempts to force manipulate the DNA in her direction and escape. This is not before an unnamed clone and his squad roll up to assist Anakin. This clone and his crew were surprisingly vital in this case. If the unspecified clone hadn't caught the DNA, the Separatists would have had access to vital Republic intelligence, which may have ended up being crippling toward the Republic for the entirety of the Clone War. As I think we should all know by now, 212th pilots are top quality. They've saved countless lives and destroyed countless droids. In Season 1, Episode 13, we see Anakin Skywalker, a young Ahsoka Tano, and Captain Rex attempt to save Jedi General Aayla Secura. 
The gunship pilot in charge of the deliverance of these three was tasked with an almost suicidal mission. Fly down to an exploding cruiser swarming with flying B-2 battle droids giving tons of flak, and to top it all off, you still have to try and safely land the ship, as well as trying to get yourself out. The pilots, however, are probably the best we've seen. The first pilot gets his cockpit window open and gets shot at by the B-2 battle droid that opened it. Due to his lightning fast reflexes however, he's able to dodge the shot and get to relative safety. The second pilot was now tasked with landing a damaged gunship in a volatile cruiser. He however miraculously lands the ship in a small opening, killing himself but allowing the rest of the crew to bail out and save Ayla Sakura, just in time. As you can see, these clones were never seen again. It is assumed that the first pilot died sometime after the crash landing, and the second pilot died whilst trying to stabilize and ready for impact. As always guys, thanks for watching. If you guys have any video suggestions or even have clones that you think are deserving of this list, put it down in the comments section below. If you think this video is deserving of your like, please help me out and do that, and if you're feeling generous, subscribe. Anyways, here's a montage of all the clips combined, hope you enjoy.